everybody. Today we're going to talk about the length of a fall and what I want to introduce you to is an application of radicals that happen in the real world. So we've all seen this in movies. Someone falls or jumps off the top of a building. So today we want to talk about how long will the fall take. The time t it takes to fall from a height of h and feet is t equals the square root of 2h over 32.18 where t is given in seconds. The 32.18 on the bottom is the acceleration due to gravity. So let's say you fell from the third floor of the Eiffel Tower. This is a distance of 906 feet. It would take t equals the square root of two times the 906 feet divided by 32.18. If you throw that in the calculator, it tells us that it'll take about 7.5 seconds to fall to the ground. So another question you might have is how fast would you be going when you land? We can use the equation v sub i is equal to 32.18 times t. Here, v sub i is the instantaneous velocity at time t. t is still going to be in seconds, 32.8 is still in feet per second squared, which means that v sub i is going to be in feet per second. So let's go back to our example of falling from the Eiffel Tower. If we take 32.18, multiply it by 7.5, we get 241.35 feet per second. So how fast is that? If we take our 241.35, which was feet per second, we want to take that over to hours. So we're gonna multiply by 60 seconds in one minute, and then we wanna multiply by 60 minutes in one hour. So that'll take us from seconds to hours. Then we wanna go from feet to miles. So we know that every mile has 5,280 feet. So we'll grab our calculator, and that'll give us that our speed is 164.56 miles per hour when we land on the ground. I hope that shows you one real quick way that we use radicals in the real world.